here we go. Would you rather? Oh, okay. Have to <laughs> turn into a talking cat for a month or have to dance for 24 hours straight with or without well, the cone bra. That's up to you. Well, of course, you know, I, you would think that I would want to talk like a cat for a month, but I'm sort of talking like a cat for the rest of my life, the way this is going. So I would dance for 24 straight hours because I like to dance and, and I can only dance for maybe like 20, 30 minutes these days at my age. So if I could dance for 24 hours, that'd be awesome. That'd be oh my God, such good cardio. For, for real. For yeah. real on the real, yes. And so what are you hoping plays on the dance mix? I mean, we we have to have Huey Lewis in the news. Like they're they're in. Yes. Who, who else yes, do we want to hear? Oh my gosh. You know, I like some some EDM. I'll hear some EDM, maybe some, okay. some Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, some hip hop, um, some like some like I think okay, if you get dancers straight out for 24 straight hours, you're gonna need some time to like chill. Mm -hmm. So maybe some like diggable planets. Some far side, some mm -hmm. some some hip hop that you can just like hang out and like just do this too. Like bob your head too a little bit. Like bob yeah. your head too. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe move like an ankle. I'm moving an ankle right now. You can't tell, but I'm moving an ankle. You know, conserving the energy so that when you know, when they get on the you know yeah the, the dead mouse, then then you're ready to go oh, again. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Okay, perfect answer. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Would you rather? Oh, okay. Own an original Back to the Future DeLorean or own the original, I guess it's his like incognito outfit from Back yeah, to the yeah. Future Part 2. Gosh, you know what's funny? And I just thought of this. So I, so when I was working on the Munsters today, we were, shoot, we were shooting on the same lot. We were shooting on the Universal lot at the same time they were shooting Back to the Future 2 uh, when they were shooting all the future sequences. So I was on set almost every day watching them film and I became friendly <laughs> With a lot of people, and I was friend. I became friendly with Michael J. Fox's stunt double because you know, where Michael J. Fox and I are sort of similar heights, stunt double similar heights to me. And I bought his his uh, the, his t-shirt and jeans uh, that he that he wore. And I ended up, uh, I think I just donated them to uh, to, to Goodwill because they, they were they were the jeans were so like these were for like Michael J. Fox. They were so small and skinny they didn't, they wouldn't even fit me. Um, wow. So having done that, having having owned an original outfit from Back to the Future 2, I'm going to have to go with a DeLorean. It's a, it's a great choice. Um, yeah. Now, how much of the original footage with Eric Stoltz have you watched? Uh, uh, anything that they've shown, I've seen. Yeah, ditto. I, I would, I, I'm very interested in like, I mean, because they filmed a good majority of it. I would like to see it, but I heard it was just a much, much darker, different take. Well, I mean, Eric Stoltz is a very gifted, very talented actor, uh, uh, and, and, but he's not a comedian. He's, you know, I think they need, there's, you need certain comic chops, and Michael J. Fox was just, was, was perfect for that. I can't imagine anyone else doing it now, you know, and, and we've seen an example of it, and, and, and not that Eric was doing anything wrong, it just wasn't part of the vision of what the filmmakers were, were wanting, and, and Michael J. Fox with his little, you know, prompt spins and his, 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 you know he's a tiny guy but tough i think it's why i kind of a uh, uh, I, I deal I, I appreciated him so much um yeah yeah can't imagine anyone else fair enough okay here is the next these are only getting more complicated i apologize okay so would you rather perform in a huey lewis and the news cover <laughs> band or perform in a power line uh, cover band oh <laughs> my gosh i would definitely pick Huey Lewis in the news cover band because i i can actually sing those songs i can't sing the the power line songs. We'll leave that up to Tevin Campbell. And okay. Everyone else who's uh, that talent. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I look. Although I'll bet Huey Lewis could 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 nail uh, an, an eye to eye. I bet he could. I bet he could do a, his own version of that. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yes. Remember? Oh, that'd be so great. Okay. So here's the next one. Would you rather? Oh, okay. Bring back Janko jeans or bring back windbreaker suits. Oh man, uh, I, I would. I'm gonna go for the windbreaker suits. The Jinko mm -hmm. jeans were just a little too, a little too much for me. Okay. okay, I never had them, but I would. I, I, I did my rave phase, and I've seen a lot of them. And I was like, wow, they're like, like two other people in each leg. I like, like, what is that? What is the width for? What do you need all that that leg room for? For crying out loud. Yeah. But the windbreaker and, and... suits. The caveat is like, you know, it's the sound. You know when, yeah. when someone's coming, but but I like yeah. to. I'll do the windbreaker suits. What about you? 
Um, so I had Jenko jeans. Um, I enjoyed them very roomy, but like they would always get wet at the bottom. So your feet were just like always soaking. Cause like the yes. bottom of the pants, I yeah. remember once I got in trouble cause I wore them to temple one day and the rabbi did not appreciate that. So, um, Didn't yeah. Max goof, but it looked like Max goof is wearing Jenko jeans. So like they were very wide at the bottom because they covered up like most of the heel and stuff. I, I mean, I think we, we should, we should look into that. She, I don't know possible kid would you were you a rave person did you did you do that no i didn't but like it's never too late to start it's because her mom's her mom's watching she can't say it <laughs> no, my parents, no they're, they're fine they're fine they don't care i'm sure my parents <laughs> rave too <laughs> but no I, I never did i never did but i, I I'm, just, I'm, I'm generally it's probably it's a stereotype that it's probably not fair i'm just a serious thing i mean there's jenko jeans are probably not rave jeans but that's that's the thing i, I would see like I feel like now, now they would be, and the, I don't know whether you've been down here for, um, there's like a huge weekend, uh, alt, ultra music festival. Have you ever been to ultra in Miami? No, I have, I've only been in Miami once. Okay. You, well, have a great, you have a great regional burn that I'd like to check out a burning man, a, reg, a regional burning man, love burn that I want to check out, but I, but I haven't, but, uh, I'll have to come back to Miami and check out the. Yeah, you should do that. And then Ultra. It's like a huge, okay. like, yeah. Okay. Put, put it on All the right. list. Put it on the I list will. after Pittsburgh, Miami. Okay. Here's the next one. Oh, gosh. This one kind of sucks. Okay. I love it. <laughs> would you rather? Ugh, this one I'm sure you won't love. Uh, would you rather do a recording session right after getting a shot of Novocaine <laughs> or do your recording session right after eating a ghost pepper? Ugh. I'm going to go with the Novocaine. Kid Cadet, uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot do the, the ghost pepper things at all, uh, even recreationally. There's no way. No, I can, I can, I can work around. Uh, I think I've done enough voiceover where I can manip work around the, the the dead part of my mouth. And maybe, who knows? Maybe we'll make like an interesting character. There you go. <laughs> okay. Good, good choice. Good choice. All right, we got two more. Here we go. Would you rather? Oh, okay. Co-host a Disney variety show with Christy Carlson Romano or oh. be part of an Elf reboot. <laughs> this is too, it's too hard. I, I would love to host a Disney variety show with Christy Carlson Romano. That'd be so much fun. And I would love to do an Elf reboot. Okay, how about we'll do it like uh, Tracy Ullman style. You, know, you remember, remember the Tracy Ullman show? Sure that kind do. of thing, kind of started the whole Simpsons thing. Yes. So we'll do a variety show. And then our then our 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 weekly sketches will be like five minute episodes of a Ralph reboot that turns it into a, a bigger thing. I'm gonna, I'm combining it too because I want it all. I want it all. I'll allow it. I'll allow okay. it. <laughs> all right. And here's the final. I got one. so excited like it's a real thing. It's like oh <laughs> my god. I mean this is a great idea. I would love to do this. But like who's to say it won't be? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like who's yes. to say it isn't a real thing? Yes. yes. Okay. Here's the last one. Would you rather uh, live in Erie, Indiana for an entire year or spend a night in the Sanderson sisters' house? Well, since I've spent hundreds of nights in the Sanderson sisters' house and nothing could be any weirder, I think I could handle going to Erie, Indiana, perhaps, yes. Okay, good choice. Very good choice. 